Hi and welcome to the DE Physical Education Flip Learning videos. Biomechanic principles. Measurements used in linear motion. There are lots of different measurements used in linear motion. A scalar quantity is when measurements are described in terms of just their size or magnitude. Direction is not taken into account. Speed, distance, mass and temperature are scalar quantities. Key terms you should know. Scalar quantity when measurements are described in terms of just their size or magnitude. Speed. Speed can be defined as the rate of change of a position and can be calculated as the following. Speed in meters per second equals distance covered in meters divided by the time taken in seconds. Distance. Distance is the length of the path a body follows when moving from one position to another. For example, a 200 meter runner who has just completed a race has traveled 200 meters. Distance is also a scalar quantity because it just measures size. Key terms you should know. Speed. Speed can be defined as the rate of change of a position. Distance. Distance is the length of the path a body follows when moving from one position to another. Memory tools. An easy way to remember how to calculate speed and distance is to use the triangle below. Distance equals speed times time. Speed equals distance divided by time. So if you use the triangle and you try and work it out, distance equals speed times time. If you were trying to work out speed, it's distance divided by time. And the three should work together. E.g. to calculate the speed of a sprinter running the 100 meters in 12 seconds, I would divide the distance by the time. So 100 meters divided by 12 seconds, giving me 8.3 meters per second. Top tip, when calculating speed and distance, it is important that the units correspond with each other. If the question gives you the distance in kilometers and the time in hours, then the measurement of speed should be calculated as kilometers per hour. Test your knowledge. Calculate the average speed for the three components of a triathlete. For example, the distance of the swim, 1.5, and the time, 30 minutes, 30 seconds. Use the triangle on the previous slide to work out the difference. Pause the video now and give this a go. If we're looking at the three different ones here, our swim would be 0.82, our cycle would be 7.41, and our run would be 3.7 meters per second. Center of mass. The center of mass is the point of a concentration of mass, or more simply, the point of balance of a body. The human body is in a regular shape so the center of mass cannot be identified easily. Additionally, the body is constantly moving, so the center of mass will change as a result. For example, raising your arms in the air raises your center of mass in order to keep the body balanced. In general, the center of mass will be for someone adopting a standing position is between the hip region, and this difference occurs depending on gender. Males have more weight concentrated in their shoulders and their upper body, so their center of mass is slightly higher than females, who have more body weight concentrated at their hips. Here are three examples of center of mass. As you can see in the standing position, it's just above their hips around the belly button sort of area. When they start to move, it slightly moves down. And when we come to the kick, it moves across to ensure that the body is balanced. Key terms you should know, center of mass. This is the point of balance. Line of gravity. This is the line extended vertically downwards from the center of mass. Factors affecting stability. All sports require good balance. Kicking a football when on not in a balanced position results in an inaccurate pass. An unbalanced position as a rugby player making a tackle results in the tackle becoming unsuccessful. To increase your stability, the following mechanical principles need to be considered. The height at the center of mass. Lowering the center of mass will increase your stability. The position of the line of gravity. This should be central over the base of support to increase your stability. The area of support base. The more contact points, the larger the base of support becomes and the more stable you become. For example, the difference between you doing a headstand where you have three points of contact or a handstand where you only have two points of contact. The mass of the performer. Often the greater the mass, the more stable. This is because of the increased inertia. If you lower your center of mass, you will increase your stability. A low stance in rugby makes it harder for your opponent to push you over. However, if your center of mass starts to move near the edge of your base of support, you will start to become overbalanced. 
This will cause an athlete to fall forward, using your centre of mass to your advantage. A sprinter will use this concept of overbalancing to their advantage, while in the set position they will have their centre of mass right at the edge of their area of support. As the gun goes off they lean forward and become overbalanced, allowing them to gain a reaction time advantage as they leave the blocks. When performing a frosby flop in high jump, the centre of mass actually travels underneath the bar while the body goes over. This technique benefits the jumper as they don't have to get their centre of mass as high, whereas a jumper using the scissor kick technique would have to get their centre of mass above the bar, making the jump much harder to perform. Key terms you should know. Area of support base. The larger the area, the greater the stability.